Senate Resolution 17, memorializing Patrolman Cassie Marie Johnson. Junior Senator from the 8th. I request unanimous consent that the resolution be taken up for immediate consideration, committee reference be dispensed with, and the resolution be put upon its adoption. Is there objection? Chair, here is none. Clerk will read the resolution. Senate Resolution 17, memorializing the life of Patrolman Cassie Marie Johnson, daughter, sister, pet mother, hero to her community, and dedicated public servant. Question is on adoption of the resolution. Is there discussion? Junior Senator from the 8th. Yes, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that we begin this discussion with a moment in si of silence in honor of Cassie Johnson. Granted. All oh, please rise. Thank you. Junior Senator from the 8th. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this resolution memorializes and celebrates the life of Patrolman Cassie Maria Johnson. Uh, she gave her life to her community and city that she loved so dear on December the 3rd, 2020. Uh, she reached that rarefied air in her service to her community of becoming the best of us and sacrificing herself for the betterment of everyone she loved. From what I can tell, and speaking to her family and those that knew her well, including a good friend of ours, Kevin Baker, who was city attorney, or who is city attorney, Cassie Johnson, before she became a patrolman, worked, in the, in the, worked as a humane officer, and there, Kevin Baker tells me that she was the best. She gave everything and all her time to protect animals in the area from torture and from death. She actually passed up on a cruise in order to make a hearing to do her job. That commitment and dedication transferred to the Charleston Police Department on January the 11th, 2019 when she became an officer. At that time that she was sworn in, she was interviewed. And she said this, it's been a dream of mine and I'm happy to see it come true. I've been working extremely hard over the last year to get ready for it. I'm really happy to finally get to follow my dreams and working for the Charleston Police Department. Again, by her comments, even before her actions, she is and was the best of us. She loved her community, the city of Charleston, her family, her friends, and did everything she could to protect them. And I always find it hard, personally, and I'm sure everyone else does, when someone this young, regardless of the circumstances, loses their life when they're just about to reach their full potential and all the good acts they can do. And that's what makes this tragic. That's what breaks my heart. And I'm sure it breaks the heart of many others. The only thing that comforts me is that her example of bravery, courage, and heroism has gone the world around. An example of that is I spoke to the, her family just a few moments ago, and they talked about how there are people in India recognizing her example. Her sacrifice reminds us, of that, reminds us that we can be better. So not only is she an example of everyone around the world, but her example reminds us that we can be better. I take comfort in that. It reminds us that there is still good work to be done, that it's incumbent upon us to continue her good acts in the community she loved. And it reminds us that if we dedicate ourselves to those good acts half as much as she did, then we can make our community, our family, 
and our city a better place. I urge full adoption of the resolution. Thank you, Mr. President. Is there further discussion? Senior Senator from the 8th. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Patrolman Cassie Johnson was everything that we would wish our children to be. Ambitious to make her mark in life with a great dedication to her calling. Patrolman Johnson was just starting her career as an officer with the Charleston Police Department. She worked hard. She worked hard to get there. First serving as a city humane officer rescuing animals who needed someone to protect them. She had prepared mentally and physically to be an officer. In the many stories after her passing, Cassie's friends remembered how she loved to make others laugh. As a child and an adult, Cassie knew loneliness and difficulty. Life could have made it hard for her or taken her down the wrong path. Instead, it gave her great understanding for people, people in pain, and animals that she loved. It was a trait that made her great at her lifelong dream to be a police officer for her beloved city of Charleston. Cassie Johnson was only 28 years old when she was killed. A precious life gone far too soon. Patrolman Cassie Johnson was an extraordinary brave. She gave to others with her last breath. May her friends and family find comfort as we honor Cassie Marie Johnson, Unit 146 today. And may we hold close her memory by living our lives with joy and compassion. And if I may, Mr. President, may I turn to say thank you. She was an extraordinary person that gave her life to be a public servant and she will be missed. Thank you, Mr. President. And I request adoption of the resolution. There's a further discussion. Senator from Logan. Thank you, Mr. President. I did not know Cassie, but I did reach out to her mother. And by the way, her mother's in the rear gallery. If everybody would uh, give her a wave, a thank you for coming. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I, I had a mask made and put it on your desk, Unit 146. But also, I wanted you to keep that mask, take it back to your office, and look at it every day. Along with it, I want you to look at my bill, SB 572, the Patrolman Cassie Marie Johnson Memorial Act. I asked her mother for permission to name the death penalty, to reinstate the death penalty in her honor. Ladies and gentlemen, our first responders is so, so important to us. We have to watch our law enforcement, our firemen, and every other officer that's out there doing anything. So if the house or the chamber would recognize Ms. Johnson, if she could possibly stand, I know she's in a wheelchair, but if she, we could just see her hand. We love you, and I know you got Logan County ties, and that's what made Cassie so daggone tough. I sure appreciate you coming, and thank you for letting me name my bill after her. Thank you very much. Is there further discussion? If not, the question for the Senate is adoption of the resolution. Roll call has been demanded. Is the demand sustained? Senior Senator from the 17th. Thank you, Mr. President. I just request the unanimous consent that the comments by our senators from the junior of the eighth, the senior from the eighth, and Logan be printed in the appendix of the journal. Is there objection? Chair hears none.
So ordered. If not, the question for the Senate is adoption of the resolution. Roll call has dem been demanded. Is the demand sustained? The demand is sustained. So the question for the Senate is the adoption of resolution, uh, or Senate resolution 17. All those in favor will vote yay. Those opposed will vote nay. The clerk will prepare the machine. Has every member voted? Has every member voted? If so, the clerk will close the machine and ascertain the results. On this question, 33 yeas, zero nays, one absent and not voting. Less than a majority of those present having, or more than the majority of those present and voting having voted in the affirmative. I declare Senate Resolution 17 adopted. Further remarks? Junior Senator from the 8th. Yes, Mr. President, just briefly, I want to thank the Senator from Logan for providing these masks that, that recognize the unit that Cassie Johnson was part of, 146. He's discussed with this with me for weeks. He took the initiative. He ordered them. He paid for them. He made sure they were here on, the, on time, which just speaks to his dedication to the resolution and her memory. And I just want to recognize that. Thank you.